friends welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to make these heart shape pattern which can be used as a garland for decorating at the Christmas time or you can use them or you can use them for making table mats table cover or you can use them as a coaster pot holder and so forth and so on so we are going to begin now things that we require for the project are yarn of three colors and you can see I am using my leftover yarn for this project a pair of scissors and a hook that could match to the thickness of the yarn so let's begin at first we have to pick up the tail of the yarn of color A make a loop insert the hook and pull through to make a slip knot now yarn over pull through yarn over pull through pull through pull through pull through and pull through these are six chains now we have to go back to the first one insert the hook in pull through pull through two now foundation ring is ready chain one two three insert the hook in pull through pull through two join these chain with slip stitch again chain one two three insert the hook into the ring pull through pull through two chain one two three insert the hook into the ring pull through pull through two so these are three we have to make 12 loops across the ring so complete making 12 loops and we'll meet again when these loops across the ring will be completed now these 12 loops are ready we have to go back to the first loop with a slip stitch chain one two three wrap the yarn on the hook insert the hook into the first loop pull through pull through two hold two loops on the hook wrap the yarn on the hook pull through pull through two there are three loops on the hook pull through all the three chain one two now insert the hook into the second loop pull through pull through two hold two loops on the hook insert the hook into the same loop pull through pull through two hold three loops on the hook insert the hook into the same loop pull through pull through two now pull through all the four loops on the hook chain one two so these are two petals we have to make 12 petals into all the loops across the round so complete making 12 petals into the 12 loops and we'll meet again when these petals across the round would be completed now when these petals are completed we have to make chain 2 and now we have to join these stitches on the top of fourth petal with a slip stitch now we have to switch to color B to add color B to the pattern take the tail of the yarn make a loop insert the hook and pull through to make a slip knot now we have to join the yarn with a slip stitch into the chain space of two now chain one two three which counts as a double crochet chain two for chain space and one more double crochet into the same chain space of two now chain two for chain space now into the next chain space of two we have to make double crochet one double crochet two chain 2 for chain space and into the same chain space of 2 we have to make 2 double crochet chain 2 for chain space into the next chain space of 2 we have to make 2 double crochet chain 2 for chain space into the next chain space of 2 we have to make 2 double crochet again chain 2 for chain space and into the next chain space of 2 we have to make two double crochet so these are one two three now into the next chain space of two we have to make two double crochet again chain two for chain space into the next chain space of two we have to make double crochet one double crochet two chain two and again into the same chain space of two we have to make two double crochet again chain two for chain space into the next chain space of two we have to make double crochet one double crochet two chain two and into the next three chain space of two we have to make 
two double crochet into the chain space of two so this is the third one chain 2 for chain space and again into the next chain space of 2 we have to make 2 double crochet into the same chain space of 2 now chain 2 for chain space and into this chain space of 2 we have to make double crochet 1 double crochet 2 chain 2 and 2 more double crochet into the same chain space chain 2 and we have to join these stitches into the third chain of the first stitch with a slip stitch now single crochet 1 single crochet 2 3 4 5 6 now wrap the yarn on the hook insert the hook into the chain space of two pull through three this is half double crochet wrap the yarn on the hook make a double crochet chain two for chain space and into the same chain space of two we have to make two double crochet again chain two for chain space into the next chain space of two we have to make two double crochet chain two for chain space and into the same chain space of two we have to make two more double crochet chain 2 now into the next chain space of 2 we have to make 3 double crochet 1 2 and 3 chain 2 for chain space into the next chain space of 2 we have to make 3 double crochet again 1 2 and 3 chain 2 for chain space into the next chain space of 2 we have to make 3 double crochet chain 2 into the next chain space we have to make three double crochet one two and three chain two for chain space and into this chain space of two we have to make double crochet one two chain two for chain space and two double crochet into the same chain space of two chain two into the next chain space of two we have to make three double crochet chain two again into the next three double crochet one two and three chain two into the next three double crochet one two and three chain two for chain space again double crochet one double crochet two double crochet three chain two for chain space into the next chain space of two we have to make double crochet one two chain two and two more double crochet into the same chain space chain two again into the chain space of two we have to make two double crochet one two chain two wrap the yarn on the hook insert the hook into the same chain space of two pull through all the three to make a half double crochet now single crochet one and now we have to join the stitches into the first single crochet with a slip stitch so this heart shape is almost complete we have to give a final touch to the heart shape pattern so we are going to add color c to the pattern now to add the yarn of color c make a slip knot first and into all the stitches across the round we have to make single crochet on the top of each stitch single crochet one single crochet two into the chain space of two on the top of double crochet we have to make single crochet into the chain space of two we have to make two single crochet on the top of double crochet two on each so complete the round by making single crochet on all the stitches and we'll meet again when this round would be completed now when we have completed making single crochet across the round 
we have to join the stitches with a slip stitch and we have to cut the yarn from here now this heart shape pattern is complete now these heart shape patterns are complete if you want to make you can make table mats garland of heart shape for Christmas or you can join them by making chain 10 then a heart shape and again a chain 10 to make a nice door hanging or a curtain thank you so much